Hello. I haven't been updating as much, but I wanted to get on here and give an update on my locks. <laughs> Looking a mess. But anyway, it's been one whole year. I started this journey last September. I think it was like the 5th that week. So it's been one year and I'm happy. It was the best decision that I've ever made in regards to my hair, ever. And I've had a lot of hairstyles, but locking, it was the best decision that I ever made. Okay, um, I was looking at some pictures Friday, well, yesterday, and realized that my hair has really thickened up. Since I see it daily, every day, you know, I don't see the big difference or the big change, but there it has been. When I was looking at those other pictures, and I'm going to do like a slideshow and another video from when I've started until the present time, but my hair was so much thinner and um, the parts and everything. It was just different. So I can tell a big difference. I really haven't been doing much of anything with my hair at all. Uh, I usually wear it like this. If I dress up or something, want to do something different, I just put it all to one side, usually pin it. Um, nothing's really going on my scalp. Scalp has been kind of dry, so I rubbed some olive oil on my fingertips and massaged it in my scalp. Um, and I know it's growing too because it's always in the way, kind of. Like it's, it's, it's here or um, if I have a collar on, I, I have to pull the hair out of my collar. Um, my ponytail is, I can get a better ponytail than I, I could at first. A real thick and full ponytail. And um, I do have shrinkage. But that is okay. I don't mind it. But, yeah, a lot hasn't been going on with my hair. Um... No routine at all. You know, I can't really say when I wash it. I wash it when I feel it needs it. Um, retwist, no routine. Just when I want to, you know. Um, I did have a lot that was... It was doing some... This is it too, but you really probably can't tell. But... Let me make sure that's it. I believe it is. Try to find it. But it was doing... It, it has... It had got really thin at a certain place in the middle. Not on the end or at the beginning. It was like... I wish I could find it. But it just had got like thin, like right here. So it was just like hanging on. This it was hang this much was hanging on by a string, literally. And so um I had seen where this is it, no. But anyway, I just knotted it. I just took it to repair it. I repaired it awfully good because now I can't find it at all. Is this it? This is it because I feel the knot. But it was longer than that. But I just start tying it. Because I've seen somebody else that had a few locks that was thinning. And they would take it and loop it through and tie it. And that repaired it. But everything else, nothing's really changed. Nothing's going on. Nothing's new. Um, it's just, it's growing. 
and I like that. I see growth all the time. I have a little new growth here at the roots. Um, well, all my vacations are out of the way for this year, September. I don't plan on going anywhere else. I just got back from Dallas um, last weekend, so I don't plan on going anywhere else. So I'm not going to, I have no plans at the moment to um, interlock anytime soon. Um, I'm just going to let it do what it do and keep it clean. Only thing I, I kind of dread is if I let it go too long without retighten, is it going is it going to be a lot of work when I do? But we'll see how it goes. But yeah, one year I made it, and let me tell you, for the people who are just starting this journey or thinking about starting this journey, research, 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 research. Uh. And be patient. It's going to take patience because nobody knows what their hair is going to do. Nobody knows how their locks is going to turn out. It's just you taking a chance, getting, you know, and trusting your hair to do what it want to do, you know. So, and that's what I did. I researched. I looked at YouTube. I, I Googled everything. And I knew when I started, that nobody locks will look like my locks, and things happen, things come up and happen that were not planned, and like my string that was hanging on, and you just act accordingly. I, right now, I still don't know how thick my locks are gonna get. Oh, these are the two that was nothing. I couldn't twist them. I couldn't braid them. I couldn't do nothing. And look, they're growing. And then my, my, what is that, Eddie? I braided that. And look, it's growing. So, but yeah, people that's just starting out or thinking about it, my advice would be do your research. My advice would be let your hair do what it do. Don't worry about the frizz. Mine was super frizzy. Don't, and get the locks that works best for your life. For me, it was braid locks because I wanted to wash my hair. I exercise. I, um, I didn't want to worry about it. My roots are, you know, coming undone. Nothing like that. I just wanted to braid it and be done with it and wash it day one, dye it if I wanted to. Um, although I only dye it black, I'm, I'm just leery about color because I don't want to lighten it. I don't want to dry out my locks. I don't want my locks to become thin, although I love color on other people, but I'll probably always stick to the black. Um, let your locks do what they do. You know, don't worry about so many people ask me how, when I'm taking them out or how long I'm going to keep them. It's been a year. And when I put mine in, I said, I didn't give myself a, a limit. I said, at least the next 10 years. And that's what I tell people when they ask me. I said, when I put them in, I told myself at least the next 10 years. <laughs> I'm not worried about another hairstyle. Now, if my mind changed in between that time, which I doubt... Um, it just changed, you know, but right now I don't do, I do very little. I spritz my hair with rose water. I put a little olive oil in it, tea tree oil sometime. Um, I'll, um, oil my hair with coconut oil and that's it. And whenever, especially when it was hot, whenever I wanted to get in the shower and just wet my hair, that's what I did. And, and. It was the prettiest then to me when I wet it, but I got a lot of like curly, curly ends. People ask me, "What? Well, how did you get those ends? What did you do?" I didn't know my ends was gonna be curly. I had no idea. You know, my hair is just doing what it do. One lady, uh, she said, "I know, but what did you do to your ends?" Nothing. I didn't do anything to my ends. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. 
You never know what your hair is going to do. Look at that. You know, if you leave it alone and don't try. Some people say they cut out, they cut their frizz. I don't, I don't believe in that because I'm, you are, to me, going against nature or what your hair want to do. Just let it be. Let it be. If you can't take the frizz or, you know, the unkept look, honestly, I never had an ugly stage to me. Now, I don't know what other people were thinking, but I never had an ugly stage because I love it. I loved every minute of it. Um, I watch it. I watch it grow and I watch it change. And, you know, I'm just... I've been to some events where I've had to, you know, some elegant events that I had to dress up and my hair was bomb still. Um, I get compliments on it all the time. I didn't do uh, the parting. I just grabbed hair, braided. I didn't, I wasn't concerned about a grid, you know. And that is about it. Just my update. I'm real happy with my hair and... Continue. I'm going to continue this journey. I'll keep you updated. I just, I got a feeling another year is going to be super long because I'm having so much growth right now. And I am excited about it. I'm going to turn around for you so you can see the 360. And it just looks so neat to me. So, that's my update, YouTube. And uh, God bless and have a wonderful week. And, you know, getting ready for this cool weather and fall season. So, I think I'm going to be pulling my hair up more because I don't want it on my, on my clothes, on my collar. You know, I don't want it to dry out, break off, none of that type of stuff. So... All right. God bless.